là US MMA fighter um, so he, he knows how to punch and of course Manny Pacquiao is a Filipino former professional boxer and politician He's regarded as one of the greatest professional boxers of all time. He served as a senator of the Philippines from 2016 to 2022. Pacquiao is the only eight division world champion in the history of boxing and has won 12 major world titles. He was the first boxer to win the lineal championship in five different weight classes. The first boxer to win major world titles in four of the eight glamor divisions, flyweight, featherweight, lightweight, and welterweight, and the only boxer to hold world championships across four decades, the 1990s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. And then uh, that's the time that I'm going to start uh, focusing on, on training and um, preparing for the fight. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Emmanuel Dapadrin Pacquiao, but he's also known as Pac-Man and Manny Pacquiao. He was born December 17, 1978 in Kibaway, Bukidnon, Philippines, making him age 44 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.69 meters or 5 feet 6 inches tall. Among Pacquiao's go-to meals include beef tapa, chicken broth made with papaya, ginger, and onions, dried squid, kebab, and of course, Tenalong Mana. Boxing is his favorite sport. Raging Bull, Ali, and Cinderella Man are his favorite movies. A film based on Pacquiao's life, Pacquiao the Movie, was released on June 21, 2006, featuring Filipino actor Jericho Rosales as Manny Pacquiao and was directed by Joel Lamingan. A documentary entitled Manny, which featured Pacquiao's early life as well as his boxing and political career, was released with Liam Neeson as the narrator. A video clip of Pacquiao greeting his followers for New Year's Eve was used as a meme on the internet. On June 25, 2010, Pacquiao completed a 10-day crash course in development, legislation, and governance at the Graduate School of Public and Development Management of the Development Academy of the Philippines. In 2022, Pacquiao graduated from the Philippine Christian University with a master's degree in management, majoring in public administration. He founded the Manny Pacquiao Foundation to help uplift the lives of Filipinos as well as people from other parts of the world who encounter problems like poverty and sickness. As such, he's invested in many projects such as a cancer research and treatment center in Mindanao. Pacquiao married Jinky Jamora on May 10, 1999. Together, they have five children, Emmanuel Jr., Jimuel, Michael Stephen, Mary Divine Grace, Princess, who's a popular YouTube vlogger with millions of subscribers and started the Pacquiao family's network of YouTube content, Queen Elizabeth, Queenie, and Israel. His first son, Jimuel, also rose to celebrity fame as an amateur boxer, model, and actor, while his second son, Michael, is a rapper who's amassed tens of millions of streams with his songs. His daughter Queenie was born in the United States. Um, that's why I challenged the Ryzen to get a, uh, an opponent that uh, can, co can compete on, uh, on the fight. He grew up with his mother and father among six siblings until sixth grade when his parents separated. At a young age, Pacquiao was inspired to get into combat sports by watching Bruce Lee videos and Muhammad Ali fights. His family struggled with poverty and he had to drop out of high school as a result. Pacquiao began boxing at age 14, the same year he left home in order to help his mother provide for his siblings. Pacquiao turned professional at age 16, although he had previously earned a spot on the national Filipino team at 14. His room and board were paid for by the government, and he had an amateur record of 60 wins and 4 losses. At 4'11", with a weight of 98 pounds, the 16-year-old Manny Pacquiao was not legally allowed to fight. He later admitted that he put weights in his socks during weigh-ins so that he could compete. He won his first professional light flyweight title against Edmund Ignacio. Although a loss against Rustico Toracampo was an early setback for Pacquiao, he went on to win his next 15 fights. His first major title came when he defeated Chachai Sasakul, and he followed this up by winning the Super Bantamweight title in 2001. In 2003, he fought at the featherweight for the first time 
dealing Antonio Barrera a TKO in the 11th round. In 2008, Pacquiao moved up once again to the lightweight division, claiming his fifth title in the process. That same year, he moved up again to the welterweight division, beating Oscar De La Hoya after gaining weight to reach 148 pounds. In 2009, Pacquiao moved to light welterweight in order to fight Ricky Hatton. After winning, he became a six-division champion. Although negotiations with Mayweather initially fell through, Pacquiao continued to fight various fighters for the next five years, earning even more titles in the process. Finally, the two fought in 2015, with Pacquiao losing in a controversial decision. After temporarily retiring after the fight, Pacquiao returned to professional boxing with a number of additional victories, although Mayweather refused a rematch. Manny Pacquiao first ran for a seat in the Filipino House of Representatives in 2007 and was defeated. After becoming successful in the world of Filipino politics, Pacquiao ran for a seat in the Senate in 2016. He won the seat and continues to be intimately involved with the politics of his home nation. One at a time. So let's uh, finish first this uh, uh, commitment to Ryzen and then uh, we'll talk about it. Approximately 20 million people have purchased pay-per-views for Pacquiao's events. The sum of his 25 pay-per-view bouts equates to approximately $1.3 billion in revenue. In 2015, he was the second highest paid athlete in the world. In addition to his athletic and political careers, Pacquiao has pursued a number of business ventures to emerge as a successful entrepreneur. The biggest and most lucrative fight of Manny's career took place in May 2015 against longtime rival Floyd Mayweather. When it was all said and done, between his guaranteed purse and pay-per-view bonus earnings, Manny ended up earning $130 million from the fight. During his career, he's earned at least $500 million from fights and endorsements. Manny Pacquiao's net worth is $220 million. In 2009, Manny and Jinky paid $2 million for a home in LA's Hancock Park neighborhood. The home, which was built the year before they moved in, has been listed for sale on and off over the years. In November 2021, they listed the home for $4.5 million. He resides in his hometown of General Santos, South Cotabato, Philippines. As the congressman representing the lone district of Sarangani from 2010 to 2016, he officially resided in Kiamba, Sarangani, the hometown of his wife. Upon his election to the Senate of the Philippines, he returned his official residence to General Santos, as senators are elected on a nationwide basis rather than by district. Pacquiao's most iconic home is the one simply known as the White House in General Santos. The impressive mansion boasts a swimming pool and covered basketball court, among other amenities. It's believed to be the most expensive home Pacquiao has purchased in the country, with 14 bedrooms and some amazing views of the water. The boxer's house in Tuca Bay in the Serengani province just might be his most picturesque. He owns the following cars, a Lincoln Navigator, a Ferrari 458 Italia Grey Edition, a Mercedes Grandis, a Mercedes SL550, a Chevrolet Suburban, a Mitsubishi Pajero, a Hyundai Santa Fe, a Ford Expedition, a Honda CRV.